hey, let's not forget our friends there uh, in North Carolina, Winston-Salem in particular, Robert Reinhardt joining us uh, from Blogger So Dear to talk some Wake Forest football. And, hey, we're not going to see Wake Forest in the top 10, the top 20, the top whatever. But, hey, coming off a nice seven-win season, a bowl victory, very impressive showing against Temple. Uh, Robert, your, your feelings about, again, I know that you're not going to look at the stars. You're not going to look at the rankings to say, hey, what was this recruiting class? You're going to look at need and personnel and try to match it up and see where some needs met. And how do you feel about this uh, Wake Forest class? I think it's really strong on the defensive end. I, I appreciate you having me on, and I especially like the uh, juxtaposition of coming on after after the Alabama guy. 21 <laughs> commits to the top 300. I don't think Wake's ever had had uh, one of those in the top 300, so that's certainly <laughs> interesting. But, um, you know, I, I think Wake, Wake Forest – Historically, when our teams are good, uh, we, we have strong defenses, and that's what I think you'll see in, in this class in particular. If you look at uh, the 247 composite rankings of our top seven commits, uh, six are on the defensive side, two, two a corner, uh, two at linebacker, um, and then uh, two, on, two, on, two on the defensive line. So um, a, a lot of talent outside of the state of Georgia, and, and for those – those top guys that we got, I thought we did a really nice job of beating out some other Power Five programs for guys, um, including Notre Dame, Mississippi State, uh, West Virginia for a few, uh, Kentucky for a few, Ole Miss to name one. So you know they're they're not blue chip four and five stars in that sense, but uh, you know not all three stars are created equally. And really, when you're looking at three stars, you want to see um, three stars who had other Power Five offers. So it's good to see us beating out some of those programs for um, some of these recruits. Robert, you alluded to both the pluses and minuses at the same time of being situated where you are right in the heart of ACC country. And we know how ACC football has taken off in the last couple of years and the strength of the programs have uh, certainly are on the rise. But also it's a place where the SEC will dive in. You mentioned going to Georgia, Georgia, one of the hotbeds for college football talent, uh, probably right in line after California, Texas and Florida. So uh, where are these kids coming from? A lot of the southeast, um, about a quarter of our kids in this class and throughout the entire team are from the state of North Carolina. So one, one thing that Clawson has really tried to do during his time period is, is really focus on on players who were within about a, a six hour uh, driving range because it's so important to be able to get these kids um, to come onto campus multiple times through camps, unofficial visits, whatever it is, uh, so that they really get a, a feel for the school. Um, obviously, if you're situated in a, in a hotbed like like Texas or Florida, um, there are much more talented recruits with, within within that range. So I thought, you know, under under Jim Grobe, we really tried to recruit a lot of players out of Florida. Um, uh, we, we've gone away a little bit from that, getting more players out out of South Carolina, Virginia, uh, North Carolina, and the uh, the DMV around around DC is where the majority of our players are coming from. Robert Reinhard holds down the fort there at uh, SB Nation's platform for Wake Forest Athletics uh, bloggers so dear and 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 Robert we like it when Wake's winning football games and coming off a successful season that means we get to talk to you a little bit more often. Oh yeah, absolutely. Always happy to to talk Wake Forest football especially when uh uh, it's a Wake Forest football team that that won a bowl game and and had a five hundred uh, an above five hundred record this year. So definitely excited about the future of, of the program. Okay, Robert, we'll get uh, geared up for spring practice and we'll see you soon. Okay, absolutely. Take care.